<laughs> Welcome back. We are visiting with Ginger Milan. She is president of the Buffalo National River Partners, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and also, we have Lauren Ray with us, and she's a park ranger here in, in uh, this area. And y'all are going to talk about the NPR concert, the National Park Radio concert, which... Somebody just go ahead and take it away. How about that? <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's, a, it's the second time that this concert has taken place. Uh, as most people know, National Park Radio is, is an area band. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they write their own music, and uh, they're very popular in the area, and they will be at Steel Creek for the second time. Uh, they were there last year, and uh, it's an Earth Day concert, April the 22nd. You know, I saw pictures on Facebook from it. It looked like it was very well attended. It was. It was. Yeah, last year we estimated we had about 600 people who showed up. Oh, wow, now, that's great. This year, now that more people have heard about it, word of mouth has really mm -hmm. gotten it out there. We're expecting maybe closer to 800 or even 1,000 people. That would be year. wonderful. And another thing that's going to draw people in is that the band, National Park Radio, is planning to release a brand new album oh. at the concert. Oh, wow. Event. So it's also going to be sort of a CD release yeah. um, event. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of a band that plays perfect music that kind of parallels the Buffalo River. Right. I think, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, you, if you think of the Buffalo River, you kind of, Think about their music because it, it kind of goes hand in hand with each other. So it's, it'll sure. be a perfect concert. Sure. Yeah. 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 It's kind of a modern folk slash bluegrass Americana yeah. kind right. of genre. So it's easy listening. It's easy for anybody. Yeah, to and they enjoy love it. the Buffalo River too, don't oh, they? Oh yeah. 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 Right. They've got uh, videos and photos on their Facebook page of mm -hmm. them floating down the river playing oh, yeah. ukulele uh, and singing yeah. 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 songs. Yeah. So they're on the Buffalo a lot, and they yeah. they sure love the park. So let's, let's talk about the Buffalo River a little bit. Now you're a new president. I am. And Sybil. Sybil moved to Fayetteville, yes. and okay. uh, someone had to step up and take her place. So it, was <laughs> it ended up being me. I had just finished. I just uh, uh, stopped working at mm -hmm. the library, so it worked out well. And and it's a major learning curve for me, but uh, things are going well. And Sybil's a just an email away. If sure. I, if and I'm she's right. sure she's still. Oh, she's very active. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But we are paying for the concert. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. uh, so we are in the process of taking donations okay. uh, for that. Um, you, you can go to our website, which <laughs> is uh, buffalopartners.org, and uh, there's an article about the concert. And if you click on that article, there's a PayPal link okay. so that you can, you can make a donation. Uh, some people don't have PayPal accounts or they don't want to use PayPal. So we've okay. had people mail us checks to go toward the concert. Uh, and our address is uh, P.O. Box 1914, uh, Harrison 72601. And uh, we, we have a long way to go to meet our goal to pay for it. But we discussed the fact that there were 600 people present last mm -hmm. year. If if most of those people had donated five dollars, uh -huh. there would the, it would have paid for itself. Plus, there might have been some left over toward this year. Sure. So we will be a presence at the concert. Uh, we'll have a, a table, a booth set up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we're, we're going to encourage people at the concert to donate. To donate. Yeah. And so if, there's not a charge for the concert. There's when no you charge come. at all. Okay. None. Uh, it's a free concert. So. Um, uh, you know, if we if we cover the cost, then any that's left over will go toward hopefully next year's concert. Right. That'll be great. So, yeah. so. Well, the Buffalo Partners, they do a lot. We they, do an awful lot. You know, you go on a trail and you don't realize that that's maintained by a lot of volunteers. Right. Lots of volunteers. It, the trail just doesn't get there. No, no, no. And we have, uh, we have a little fundraiser for trails called Shucks. It's just two bucks. Uh, Two dollars will will uh, refurbish or, or maintain one foot of trail. So uh, okay. we always have our donation <laughs> jar out. And if you come to that concert, uh, we'll have information about our organization, and we welcome people to read our brochure and join. Uh, right now, we have 142 members. Uh, I think that may be the the highest number Good. that we've had, mm -hmm. and we're we're pushing. And it's not just local people. You no, know, people oh from no. Out of state and that love right. the Buffalo River. Right. Uh, we have people all across north, northern Arkansas, on in all sections of the river who mm -hmm. are members. We have. 
pretty large number of members in the Fayetteville area, Little Rock, and all points in between. We have them from out of state. Yeah. Uh, we even had one last year from Russia. We don't know where he came from, wow. but <laughs> he did not rejoin. But uh, anyway, yeah, we have lots of members in yeah. far-flung places. Well, it's a treasure right here in this area. So Yes, it is. It is. Well, Lauren, what, what do you do during the day? I am actually a park guide at Buffalo National River. I'm stationed down at Steel Creek Campground, okay. which is okay. where this concert will be taking place in April. Um, you really can't ask for a prettier office view. I look, get I'm to sure. look out at Roark Bluff out my office window. Mm -hmm. But I do a lot of education programs and outreach mm -hmm. in the local communities and um, through social media and things like that just to get the word out about Buffalo National River and why it's a resource worth protecting. So if an organization had an opportunity yeah. to have a program, you would be... Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. oh yeah. Good Absolutely. deal. Absolutely. Good to know. She's actually doing a program at the library at some point. Uh, yeah, I think in July. She has a okay. nickname. Oh, my What's gosh. Your nickname? <laughs> What's your nickname? What's your nickname? you got to know now. The Rapping Ranger. Oh, uh-oh. Do you rap? Really? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> but she sings beautifully. I've heard her sing. So. Thank you, Ginger. And, and we, we're, we're not going to put you on the spot. How's no. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay. But I'm thinking if you came for a program, you might have to do it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. In a that's select cool. group, you may. Yeah, right? possibly. Okay. Uh, yes. Forewarning is always good, right? So the, the, the concert's coming up again? You April 22nd. Is it at 5? It begins at 5 p.m. Uh -huh. It'll run till about 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay. I know last year people got there early to get their campsite. Yeah. And they walked to the oh, concert. Nice. And okay. I think yes. some people paddled mm -hmm. to the concert. That's cool. Well, where they yes. came from. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a really good thing. I'm glad you mentioned that, though, Ginger, because Steel Creek Campground has 26 campsites. Uh -huh. And it fills up quickly mm -hmm, on bet. spring weekends, particularly mm -hmm. when the river is at a good level for right. floating. Mm -hmm. So being first come, first serve, if people mm -hmm. are planning on camping mm -hmm. after the concert, they really do it. need to get there. Maybe a day or the, two before, maybe. At, yeah, yeah, day or two before would be safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good, good, good things to know. But it'll be a great concert. It'll be a beautiful setting. Uh, we hope to see a lot of people there. And uh, um, we are no, well, looking uh, uh, Buffalo National, uh, National Park Radio, will, will they be selling CDs and that kind of thing there? I would imagine. They uh, sure will. They're uh -huh. going to okay. have a, a merchandise booth afterwards. They'll okay. have, actually, I forgot, brought <laughs> our nice poster here okay. that uh, the lead singer, Stefan Zabo, mm -hmm. designed for the event. And they are going to be selling and signing those okay. posters at the event. They'll be selling their brand new album, um, T-shirts, stickers. Oh, okay. Good like deal. That would be nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank very, you. Very Thank sounds you. like a great concert. It great will be. To be out that weekend. It Thanks will be. And rounding out the show, uh, when we come back, we'll be, we'll be talking with Logan Slaughter, and it's Autism Month, and we'll be finding out all about that from him. Stay with us.